This is a tutorial for making your films just look um, a bit more film-like, I'm going to say. Uh, so I've just got a video of me coming in, uh, looking into the camera, looking around suspiciously. Actually, if you go back there, you might be able to see the light of the camera uh, in my glasses. Uh, looks around suspiciously and walks away. Now, quite a nice scene, but how can we make this scene uh, f f uh, feel, uh, feel and look more film-like? Well, I'm going to do this by adding a bit of uh, some some effects. So I'm going to uh, select, and we're going to click Effect, uh, Color Correction, and go to Hue, Saturation, and Effect, Color Correction, and to Curves. Okay, I'm going to change the lighting just to make it seem more film-like. There's a couple of other things which I'm going to do also to make it feel more film-like. Uh, and before we start over here, just uh, we're going to be using, um, sorry, we're going to be using um, hue saturation and curves in an upcoming tutorial where um, it's going to do uh, from day uh, to night. Hopefully, I'll do that soon, as I can get out and um, film that, and then we'll come in and edit it and show you how to do that. Anyway, let's just stick to this one, making your uh, films uh, seem more film-like. Okay, so let's say this is a film. And let's say I'm in a dark place uh, looking for something suspiciously. So I'm going to bring the lighting down. Um, and I'm going to bring it down to about minus. Well, I'm going to change the saturation to about minus 15. And as you can see, it's just taken some of the saturation out of the picture, obviously. And now we're going to go into the curves. I'm going to click this up. I'm going to go to the curves and we're going to select RGB it's not already selected and we'll bring it down a bit and that's just going to add a bit of contrast maybe so I'm in a dark place so I'm going to mess around with the curves so it looks a bit darker adds a bit of uh, effect and then I'm going to go down to blue in fact we'll go to red first of all I'm just going to bring the reds down out of it a bit so I'll bring the reds down uh, to green, bring the greens up, not too much. You don't want to go in lime green. And then you can go to blue, bring the blues up. Maybe not that one. Just a bit. And then alpha doesn't really do uh, anything really. Okay, so just leave alpha. And if you look at the screen now, it's just changed. Um, you can still see the light in the glasses. My fault, I should have turned the light off, but that doesn't matter. It just looks more film like. Okay, what else can you do to make your video seem more film like? Now, in films, you'll see the, there'll be black things at the top, and it just looks widescreen now. So it looks more widescreen. You can do this as well, but just try to do it like that. So you can bring these down. And this can make it look more film-like. But the main thing that's made it look a bit more film-like is just the lighting of it. Just gives it a bit more of a mysterious effect. So we can actually bring the RGB down a bit more. So just changing the lighting and the colour correction um, on this it can just give it a bit more of a film effect. And that was an extremely quick tutorial just telling you that uh, how to make your lighting, uh, how your lighting can create a bit more of an atmosphere in your films. And like I say, there's a brand new tutorial coming soon for day to night, filming the day, and then afterwards we can make it night. And that is for After Effects. If you've got any tutorial ideas that you want to give to me, I will take them all into account. I'm doing uh, at the moment tutorials for Macromedia Flash 8. Uh, Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects CS4 so any requests just write them in the comments or send me a message on YouTube or send me an email go to the channel and check that out thanks for watching this very very simple tutorial on how to change the lighting in Adobe After Effects okay thanks for watching and please subscribe